The aviation business worldwide is growing and there's a worldwide shortage of pilots. All of these things come together to make aviation science a very viable degree at this point. I also should mention that we are adding to that program at this point an unmanned aerial vehicle component. That in and of itself is going to be yet another spark in, in aviation science here. Airlines and routes for flights are expanding rapidly and the numbers of people that are qualified to sit in that cockpit and do the kind of work that's associated with that is really still trying to catch up with the need. The aviation science program at Elizabeth City State University is the only four-year degree program in the state of North Carolina. And in fact, it's the only aviation program in the UNC system. And I would also add that it's one of the three public HBCUs that offer aviation science program in the East Coast. So in that way, it makes us unique in the state and also in the East Coast as well. In aviation science program, we offer various options for students to pursue. So a student coming into aviation science program can pursue a professional pilot degree. Person can pursue an air traffic control option, aviation management, avionics, which is aviation electronics, and our newer concentration, which is unmanned aircraft systems. So we are hitting into all these job market areas. There's a huge demand for pilots. There's huge demand for air traffic controllers. They're about to retire. We will need new air traffic controllers to fill those positions. And then there's a whole big market of unmanned aircraft systems, which is emerging and expected to be in billion dollar industry in future. So we are preparing students for all these areas in the program. We are in close proximity to uh, the largest Coast Guard air station in the country. Uh, we are within two miles of that base where we operate our flight training out of. And we have a strong partnership with Coast Guard. It really makes us feel proud when we see that the students who uh, graduate from this program, and I'll give an example, goes to the Coast Guard, uh, gets his training, and then come back and fly those C-130Js right here at the base. Our graduates have also found uh, employment with airlines. Uh, we recently had a student who joined the subsidiary of American Airlines. We also had a student who joined PSA Airlines. And we're also looking into developing pilot in pipeline program with these airlines. We had a visit from uh, Piedmont Airlines back in November, and we're looking forward to uh, sign that partnership so we can have students in the pipeline to get into big airlines.